Recording the gaming footage or other activities on your computer is made possible by screen recorders. But the drawback of most of these tools that are free are their limitations. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you the four best screen recorders that are completely free with no watermark on your footage and no time limits. The first one is Active Presenter. This is a free screen recorder from Atomi Systems that can be used for a wide range of purposes such as recording your activities, creating interactive courses, and training videos. It is available for both Mac and Windows, and it's easy to use. To record your screen from the dashboard, click on Record Screen as Video, and this window will pop up. You can record the full screen of your monitor, or click on Custom to enter an aspect ratio. You may also click on this dropdown to select a preset resolution, and if you wanted to record your activities on one program only, you should check this box and click on the drop-down. You can select a program or a single tab of your browser. You can also record your webcam and have it display alongside your video and record the audio of both your mic and the system simultaneously. Click on record and a three seconds counter will let you know you've started recording. You will also see the active presenter icon on your window which you can click to either pause, discard, or stop the recording. You'll be brought to the editor instantly where you can view and edit your recordings. And unlike other tools in this video, active presenter has a range of tools you can add to your footage on the top menu under interactions. There's also equations and shapes which make it a right choice for tutors and teachers. If you don't want to download any software, the next tool will be useful for you. And that is BeWise. You don't need to download any plugin or program as it is a web-based screen recorder. But it will record your activities on the browser as well as anywhere on your computer. You can take a screenshot, record your screen, webcam, and microphone. Click on the red button to record and a dialog box will appear. If you have more than a monitor as I have here, you can choose the one you want to record. You can also set it to record a particular program or window on the second section, or record a tab from your browser on the third. You can check this box to record your system audio, and I'll click on share to record my second monitor. If you're done, click on stop at the upper right corner, and the footage will appear. Your recordings will always be on the website, even if you go to the home page or refresh the website until you clear your browser catch or you delete it. To download your recordings, you can click on the save icon and download it as MP4 or a web media file. The third tool is a PowerSoft free online screen recorder. It is similar to BeWise, but with a more modern look, more customization and an accompanying app you can download for very long recordings. You can record your full screen or a region of it, record your webcam alongside your footage, and also add audio with your mic. Click on this button to start recording. And this pop-up is the same as that of BeWise. You can record a tab from your browser, a specific program, or the whole monitor. Your recordings are also on the browser, but you can save it only as a web media file. The downside of both online recorders is that they can't capture many game footage, which will take us to the fourth tool. And that is OBS Studio. It is an open source software which is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is the one I used for my videos on this channel, and is also used by many content creators and gamers to record and stream live to their audience. You can download it on this website, which I'll leave the link in the description below. And the easiest way to set up OBS Studio is to go to the Tools menu and click on Auto Configuration Wizard. You should specify what you want to use it for and follow the prompt. The screen is dark, which means we haven't selected anything to record. So go to the first block and click on the plus icon to add a scene. Then on the second block, Click the plus icon to add a source for your recordings. This can be any of these options, such as your browsers, your games, or your windows. 
Click on OK to continue, and you can tweak the settings here to your preference. On the third block, you can toggle the volume of your system and microphone. And on the last block, you have options to start recording or start streaming. I have two monitors set on scene one already, and I can drag it up or down. You'll also see whatever you are doing on the canvas, which makes it easier to see which portion of your screen is being recorded or not. You can see more options on the last block under settings. This is where you can set the streaming network, change your audio output as well as video, and set up pot keys for shortcuts. One last thing though, if you record anything on your computer with OBS Studio, by default, the file will be in an MKV file. And to convert it, simply click on File and select Remux Recordings. Select the file you want to convert, and it will do that in seconds literally. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment below and let's have a chat. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Click this video to watch the top 9 AI tools you must see in 2023. See you there, and thanks for watching.